Welcome to example program and in this video we will see how we can write a C program to display all the alphabetical characters. Here I have already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file and then I have written the main function. Now the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we need. The first variable we need is for storing the character, alphabetical character and I'm going to take the character type and I will call it as ch and I will store capital letter A in this character variable ch. Now in C programming language whenever we use the character data type or you know whenever we use the characters you know whatever we write within the single quote one character then the ASCII value of those characters are used. Here when we write ch equal to capital A in single quotes it will store the ASCII value of this A. Here you guys can see the editor is highlighting that it is an integer value of 65. That 65 is the ASCII value and it will be stored in the ch variable. And another thing is the ASCII value of these alphabetical characters are in ascending order. For example, for the capital A, it is 65 and for capital B, it's 66, capital C, it's 67 and similarly, we have the ASCII values in ascending orders. So here we will use this information that the ASCII value of this character A is uh, 65 and the ASCII value of these alphabets are in ascending order and the ASCII value is an integer value. By using this information, we will construct this program. Now the next thing that we do is we will use a loop. You know, we can use a for loop or we can use a while loop. Here I'm going to use a for loop and by using this for loop, we will print each alphabetical character. Now I don't have to initialize anything in here. So I'm going to leave the initialization part of this for loop as blank. And uh, so I'm going to add a semicolon in here and then we need to write the conditions. So for how long we want to run this for loop. I want to run this for loop as long as this ch variable contains the ASCII value less than or equal to the ASCII value of the alphabetical character z. Okay. And after that, what we want to do with each iteration, we want to increment the ASCII value of the character so that we move to the next alphabetical character. Okay. Now we have the for loop in here. Now let us print out the value stored in the ch variable. So I'm going to use the printf statement in here. And here the format specifier will be percentage %c and I'm going to leave a space in here and we will display the value stored in the ch variable. So now we have uh, written the program in here. Let's run this. So here you guys can see this program is displaying the uh, alphabetical characters from capital A to capital Z. Here we know that the ASCII value of the alphabetical character A is 65 and it is an integer value. So here with this CH++ we are performing uh, integer calculation. We are incrementing the value of this CH character variable. Since this ch variable will contain the ASCII value which is an integer value we can perform this operation. Now here we can modify this program and we can uh, make it print the alphabetical characters in descending order. So here we will change the condition as ch variable contains a ASCII value which is greater than or equal to the ASCII value of the character A and then we will decrement the ASCII value of this ch variable. Now if I save this program and run it, now you guys can see we have this alphabetical characters uh, displayed in the descending order. Now I want you to make a modification to this program. I want you to display the alphabets in lowercase. So you can make the modification and post your code in the comment section. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.